Today we're going to be looking at the binary search algorithm. Now the binary search algorithm is meant to find the our target in a target number in a list by constantly splitting the list in half. Now we don't actually split the list in half. What we do is we just narrow down a search area um, over and over again by cutting the search area in half, right? So don't worry if you're using something like an array, you don't actually have to cut out the array in half, which is impossible. So that just won't happen. So you can use this basically for any, any type of um, structure. Now, one of the things is that you have to remember that this will only work on an array or a list that is in order. If the list is out of order, then it's not going to work. Right, so this is how it works. I'll just demonstrate how it works and then I'll talk about a little bit of the coding afterwards. All right, so let's say we have a target that we're looking for here. And let's say my target is eight. Okay, so I'm looking for the number eight, not element eight. All right, I have my minimum index. Okay, my minimum index is an integer and it points at the lower bound of the search area. Okay, my maximum index. Uh, points at the upper bound of the search area. Okay, now what you can start off by just checking is the target at the minimum and is it at the maximum, right? Sometimes people forget that um, and you might want to say is the target less than the minimum or greater than the maximum, right? Because if it is then it's not in the list and uh, it might have already been found. Okay, so let's say for instance my target was um, negative 8. Well, if I look at the minimum index, and this is in order, the, the element at the minimum index is one, right? So if my target was negative eight, then clearly it's not in the list. Similarly, if my target was 18, it's greater than the max than the 10 here at the maximum. And the, so it's greater than array at maximum, which means that it's not in the list. Okay, we also check, is it the minimum index? Is it at array at zero? No. All right, and is it array at maximum, which is at array at nine? No. All right, so that means it's not on the edges, and if it's in the list, it it must be somewhere in the middle of these within the search area. Okay, so once we've established this, what we're going to do is we are going to go and look in the center of the list. Okay, and that's going to help us to split the list in half. So the way we do this though, because there's um, 10 items here, so uh, it's an even, even list and it's not easy to just find the middle element. We do that, we find the middle element by finding the average. Okay, so in this case, uh, we would say average is equal to the max plus the min Okay, divided by two. All right, so I've got my maximum is nine plus my minimum, which is zero, and that's gonna be nine, divided by two is 4.5. So 4.5, uh, because it's an integer, turns into four. And so what we do is we are searching at this element here. All right, so array at four is equal to five, right, which is not our target, right? So it's not this. But what it means is that because our target is greater than this element, we can narrow down the search area. All right, so what that means is that this minimum can move up. Okay, now I can move to here if I want, or you can move to here if you want as well. It, it'll change the way you code a little bit. I like to move here because it doesn't, it means I don't have to search um, this this element later. I already know it's it's higher than the minimum, but it can't be at the minimum because I've already checked that one. Okay, then we repeat. Okay, so we go and look in the middle. All right, so I find, okay, so the average is maximum nine plus minimum four, which is 13, divided by two is six, okay, or 6.5, okay, because it's an integer, it turns into six, okay, which is this element here. Now, if the array is uh, in, if the number or the target is inside the array, it must be higher than this, okay? It has to be on the right side of this because this element is a seven and we're looking for an eight, All right? So that means we can narrow down our search area again, okay? So we take our minimum and we move it over here, all right? We go again, okay? So we say, well, what's the middle here? Okay, well, now we have nine plus six is 15, divided by two is seven and a half, 
okay, which because it's an integer will turn into seven. And there we go. It just happens to be right there, right? And we found our target. Now, let's say for instance, the target was not in the list, right? So um, let's say for instance, we were looking for, I don't know, something else that wasn't an eight, or let's say eight wasn't there. All right, now just illustrate how this might change things. Okay, so let's say this is a nine, this is a 10, and this is an 11, all right? So we have a situation where the, the element that we're looking for is not in, in the array, okay, or it's not in the list. So again, we're at nine plus 16 is 15, sorry, nine plus six is 15, divided by two is 7.5, because it's an integer, it's a seven. Okay, so we get something like this. Okay, we're looking here and it's a nine. Okay, well, nine is greater than um, eight. So this means that if the, if the number or the target is going to be inside the list, it has to be on this side, okay, on the other side of the maximum, right? And so we can move the maximum down. Now we have a situation where the minimum and the maximum are adjacent to each other. Now, if the minimum and the maximum are adjacent to each other, and because we, we always move it to, or we've moved it to a place where we've already searched, we can be sure that the target is not in the list. All right? So the way that this looks is essentially it is a while loop, right? So we're going to say while the target is not found, right, which can be indicated with a Boolean, right? Or you could also per perhaps say like while... I, I don't know, I would probably just use a boolean to indicate it. There's other ways you could do it, um, that whether you found the target or not, and that the minimum and the maximum are not adjacent to each other. Well, how do you know? Well, if the minimum and maximum are adjacent to each other, when you say max minus min, right, the max minus min will be either one, if they're adjacent to each other like this, or there's a situation where it could be zero, all right, like this. Okay, so that they're the same element. So what you're looking for is that you want to continue as long as this is not the case. So you say, well, max minus min is greater than one. All right, so if it's two apart or three or higher, then, uh, then you keep going. Otherwise, you just stop. All right, and that is essentially it. All right, so what you do is you have your while loop, right? You set up your min, your max, you check to see if it's outside, if it will possibly be within the boundary that you set, all right? You go as long as the minimum and maximum are not adjacent or the same element, and the number has not been found. And then inside the while loop, you just basically say, um, if the array at the average is, um, is the target, then your market is found. If it's not, then you either move the minimum or you move the maximum to the to the average, um, depending on which side the the target is is going to be on. That's pretty much it. So it's fairly simple. Uh, if you have any questions, put it into the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Otherwise, happy programming. Thanks for watching. See you next time.